Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Listen, why did nobody tell me that there were five more shades of the ever so popular Maybelline vinyl lipsticks? You guys know, these are some of my absolute favorites. The longevity on these is unmatched. You may have seen my previous swatch videos. I've swatched a total of 25 shades on my channel. I'll have those videos linked down below if you haven't seen them. I guess Maybelline forgot to tell us that they added five more shades, who knows when? I don't know how long these have been around. I found them on Ulta. These are very fun, like bright shades it's perfect for spring and summer, it seems like. So now there's a total of 30 shades, but it's kind of weird because there's some shades that are available on certain retailers and others that are not. So both at Target and Amazon, there's 25 shades. At Ulta, they sell 21 shades. Maybelline, Walmart, and CVS all have 20 shades available. And then Walgreens has 15 shades. Riddle me that. So it's kind of like mixed and matched. I do know that Target has five shades that are exclusive to them, and the rest are kind of like mixed and matched among retailers, which is kind of interesting. Out of all those retailers right now, Amazon has the cheapest options. It's currently $8.48, but it can go all the way up to $12.99 at Ulta. I feel like this is the case with a lot of drugstore products. The price completely varies depending on the retailer. So there's a little bit of a range with that as well. We are gonna be testing out these five gorgeous new colors. I already know I love the formula. This is gonna give you a little bit of like that lacquered shine, which you'll see. But the best part is when you let these dry down, they do not transfer. It's insane. I don't know how they did this, honestly. You'll see as I swatch them. And if you've watched my other swatch videos, you already know. All right, here are the five shades swatched on my arm. We have Rogue, Sultry, Upbeat, Edgy, and Striking. Let's swatch these on the lips. We're gonna start with the shade Rogue. You gotta shake this formula. This looks like it could be a salmon pink. The thing is, sometimes the outer packaging doesn't perfectly reflect the color on the inside. This one does look pretty close. Yeah, that's honestly what I was expecting. The applicator on these allow for quite a bit of precision without a lip liner, which is so nice. Normally you would wanna let this dry down, but since I'm doing a swatch video, I'm gonna to try to move quickly so I don't have to like completely remove my lips, you know, in the process of this. This is a really nice color. What a gorgeous spring color. It's definitely more on the pink side. There is a hint of that like warmness that you would get from a coral, but it's definitely more of a true pink now that it's on my lips versus what I was assuming it was gonna be from the packaging. So here's Rogue all over. That's so pretty. I really, really like this shade. I'm excited about this one actually. The next shade we're gonna be trying is this right here called Sultry. Let's give this a shake and we'll try this on all over. Ooh. So these all seem to be pretty like pink colors. They've had pinks before, a lot of which are a lot brighter than these first two. This is still very much a pink, but it has a little hint of like a mauve undertone in it, which I love. I love when there's like a hint of a cool tone in a lip product. Still very much like a true pink. Again, perfect for spring or summer, but this one's a little more muted, which is nice. It's kind of like that happy medium if you're wanting like a pop of color, but you don't want it to be too bright. This is what that feels like for me. It's still like a different enough color to where it can feel like a little bit of a statement without being over the top, which is always so nice. That's pretty. Sultry is a really nice color. All right, let's keep trying them. Next, we're gonna try this right here. This looks like a proper bubblegum pink from the packaging. This is called Upbeat, but it seems to be a little more neutral in the bottle than what the packaging suggests. Let's see how it looks on the lips. I mean, it's still a bubblegum pink, but it's not so bubblegum to where it completely washes you out. Although it's winter and I'm extremely pale at the moment, so it's kind of hard for any lip color to wash me out. <laughs> I actually think that's really pretty. It's very much like a Barbie bubblegum pink. So if you're into that, I think you would really like this. For me, I feel like it's actually more wearable than I was anticipating. And it's much more toned down than the bottle looks. It's not quite as vibrant, even though it is a true baby pink. So there's upbeat all over the lips. I like that this one's a little bit lighter too. I feel like a lot of their shades are a little bit more on like the medium and deep side. They're just more like richly pigmented or deeper, I should say, because this is pigmented. So this is a little bit more of like a lighter pink if you're into that. There hasn't really been a color like this so far. All right, we have two more colors. This one looks fun. We'll see how this one goes. This looks like a vibrant purple. It's called edgy. So seems like something that you'd want to wear if you're wanting a more bold lip look entirely. Let's give this a whirl. Oh, wow. Okay, she's purple. Uh, I don't hate that. I honestly was expecting a little bit more of a fuchsia from the packaging, like a fuchsia purple. It's very evenly pigmented as well, which is nice. I don't think that looks crazy. I mean, it's definitely a bold color. It's one that you would definitely wanna wear with a little bit less on the rest of the face. At least that's how I would wear this. 
making sure it's the focal point. But I really like this proper cool toned purple. It still feels very fresh in spring and summer, not quite like a fall winter purple. What do you guys think of this shade? I wanna hear your thoughts. Would you wear a color like this? Let me know in the comments. Last but not least, this color could be the most vibrant of the bunch. This is called Striking. Let's see if it's striking or not. Here we go. Oh my. Oh, she's striking. This is like a proper hot pink. This is like Barbie pink. I feel like there have already been quite a few bright pinks in the line, but this is more cool toned, super vibrant. This is like a fuchsia Barbie pink. I mean, it's definitely pretty, but it's very bright at the same time. It still looks flattering though somehow. Like a lot of times these colors can look funny or just not make sense, but I feel like this specific color actually works. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. Obviously these are not my kind of everyday colors, but the fun part about this formula is because they're so transfer proof, it's fun to experiment with some brighter colors that you may not have tried in say like a bullet lipstick formula, just because it can feel a little bit intimidating and a little messy. Like these aren't gonna budge, which makes it so nice. I wanna go back and wear what I think is my favorite color from these new five, and that is Sultry, shade 160. I just, I'm a sucker for more like mauve pinks. That is so pretty. I'm curious to see how some of these shades compare to the existing shades that I have. I literally have every single color. Uh oh. I'm specifically curious to see it next to my all time favorite shade, which is Awestruck. This is another kind of mauve color. Okay, I can already tell that Sultry is indeed more pink, but they are honestly really close in color. Well, I should say close in tone, but you can see that Awestruck is definitely more mauve. This leans more of a proper pink color. Another favorite shade of mine is called Koi, which is even more like cool toned than the other two. So there's some comparisons. I also wanted to see the shade Rogue in comparison to a couple others that look similar potentially from the bottle. So here's Rogue swatched, which is that first one. Let's see that next to the shade Dainty. This is, I believe, one of the Target exclusive shades. Whoops, that swatch was kind of big. So those two are honestly similar. It seems like Dainty is a little more on the orange side. So if you do want more of that proper salmon coral, I think Dainty might be a better pick for you. If you're leaning a little bit more rosy pink, then stick with Rogue. Here's another one. Next to that, this is called Eccentric. This is definitely more of like a rosy tone, but in a similar family. So, you know, these are like similar, but since they are so pigmented, once they're applied all over the lips, you do get quite a different effect overall. So for me, even though all five of these new shades are really fun, I definitely feel like Sultry is my number one and a close second is actually Rogue. I really did like this one as well. I could picture myself wearing these for spring and summer. The other three shades are really, really fun, but definitely for somebody who wants a super bold, cool toned, attention grabbing type of a pink or purple in this case. These are really, really fun for spring and summer as well, but definitely something that would have to be the focal point of both your makeup and your outfit. That's just my personal preference on how I would wear these three colors. I'd love to hear in the comments down below, what was your favorite shade that I swatched out of these five new colors? And if you've already tried this formula before, tell me what your all-time favorite shade is. I honestly think that Awestruck still wins. While there's a lot of these other colors that I feel like will be perfect for every day, especially this one right here. So so I'm really excited about these new shades, but the existing shades also have some serious gems. If you haven't seen my videos recently, I have a new rating system where I rate my products that I try. Green meaning I love it, I highly recommend. Yellow meaning I'm enjoying it, but may not buy it again, or it might not work for everyone. And red meaning I don't recommend it. And then the occasional product is gonna get a gold award, which means like this is ride or die. I couldn't give any more of a stamp of approval. Does that make sense? Things that I feel like are just top notch, next level. So for me, this entire range gets a solid green. Honestly, I was debating putting it in gold, but I kept it in green because I feel like some people might not like a formula like this. So I can't say it's for absolutely everyone, but I'm very, very confident when I say like this has my full stamp of approval. This is incredible. This formula is so pigmented, so long lasting, like the longevity is insane. So if you want a lipstick that you just do not have to worry about, that doesn't feel super dry on the lips either, you 
are gonna get a tackier finish with this, which is another reason why I feel like it could potentially bother some people. Um, I've learned to just really get used to it and honestly enjoy it, knowing that my lipstick is gonna stay on all day. But I love how healthy my lips look. I love how confident I can be wearing this formula through meals, through drinks, for hours at a time, and just know that it's not going anywhere. This is one of my all-time favorite lip formulas, and the fact that it's from the drugstore makes it that much better. If you wanna see the rest of the entire range swatched, I have three other videos where I swatch every single color, so hopefully it's helpful for you to choose which shade you feel like would best fit into your life if you haven't tried these shades, or which shade to add to your collection next if you already love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe so you can help me reach a million subscribers. It's been a dream of mine for years to reach a million subscribers on YouTube, and I'm really hoping that it happens this year, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you.